Hello, my name is Coco, and um, today we are going to read Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur, all about dinosaurs, by Bonnie Ward, illustrated by Steve Hoffley. And, of course, it is. Cat in the Hats Learning Library. So here is the cover and here is the back. And we're going to read this, the backing, when, when we're done. Okay, so we're going to read this little note. It says, I'm the Cat in the Hat. You have met me before. Today I will Speak of the great dinosaur. And it is by Random House, New York. I'm the cat in a hat. You have met me before. Today I will speak of the great dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on the earth long ago, before you and me. So how do we know? So here's the picture. And as you can see, there's a cat in a hat on there. From fossils, dinosaur teeth, eggs, and bone got stuck in the muck. That muck turned to stone. These fossils are old. They're dusty and worn because they were made long before you were born. Not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, but millions of years, long before you were born. So as you see, there is the cat in the hat on there. So here's the picture. Dinosaur hunters dig in the ground. These fossils are found. The hunters use tools to chip chip all day. When the, the fossils come loose, then they pack them away. Fossils can crumble because they are old, so dinosaur hunters must first take a mold. see the picture and there's cat in a hat on there of course your dinosaur labs to the dinosaur labs every bone every tooth and every bit is carefully shipped to see how they fit is this a leg bone maybe a muscle muzzle I mean it's a mixed up crazy Dinosaur puzzle. <laughs> See, there's cat and a cat on there. Step up and enter the museum hall where dinosaurs stand. Some are big, some are small. Will we play games? Hero will play the best of all games. Oh, say you, can you say the, uh, the dinosaurs' names? See? After you set them, you get to see them. The Cat in the Hat Super Dino Museum. Dinosaur names are not easy to read, but give it a try. I will help you if you need. Take care of your father, sweet Sally, dear Dick. These long words can make even grown-ups feel sick. See? And there's cat in the hat on there. A lot of these pages have the cat in the hat on there. The 
like this one does. Oh, can you say Ana? I mean, Ankylosaurus, and it says Ankylosaurus. With a club for a tail and a back full of spikes. This dino is strong, like an army tank. Yikes! And it says right here, it says Ankylosaurus. See? Now can you say my a solver? That there's one thing we know that this this dino did best. She kept her kids cozy and safe in their nest. She kept the nest tidy. She he gave her kids she got her kids food. She was a good mother to her dino brood. And it says over here, over here, right here, my uh, sword. Tys the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, can you say Tyrannosaurus Rex? You said that quite nicely. Now, you'd better go. The T Rex is no kitten. I think you should know. See how scary a Tyrannosaurus Rex can be? Oh yeah. The T-Rex was strong, with long teeth as sharp as knives. Most, when most dinosaurs saw him, they ran for their lives. The T-Rex was a hunter. He hunted for meat. Other dinosaurs were his idea of a treat. Carnivore is the name that we give to dinos who ate meat to live. See? Okay. Triceratops. Can you, oh, can you say triceratops? The, this dinosaur's head had three horns up on upon it, sticking out of its, uh, sticking up out of a hard sort of bond. But though he was smaller, not half as fierce, his head was too hard for the T-Rex to pierce. So after a few dozen snaps at his face, The T-Rex looked for dinner in some other place. See? Up. Uh, okay. Can, oh, can you say a Apatosaurus? And it says right here, a patosaurus. I've gotten this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with the apatosaurus. These dinos' long necks reached high up in the trees where they fed on green leaves just as much as they'd please. Herbivore is the name that we give dinos like these who ate plants to live. See? Can you say Brock E. A. Saurus? This dino was taller than 51 feet. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay. That's what he would gobble day after day. That's 
how he grew the size, as you see. The cat in the hat just comes up to his knee. He's nowhere as smart as you or me. His brain is the size of a small zucchini. And right here it says, right here it says zucchini, and right here it says brain. <laughs> and here's the picture. And right here it says brachiosaurus. Right here. Oh, can you say Iguanodon? What did he do with his... What, did, what he did with his thumb that we think we know. We think he used it to, to jab at his foe. It says Iguanodon right here. Now say dino -icus. Terrible claw is what its name means. We think that this dinosaur hunted in teams. And right here it says dino -icus. Dinoicus. I mean, Dinonicus. Can you say Archaeopteryx? His fine feathered friend is the earliest known. The bird might, this bird might have glided. This bird might have flown. One thing we must ask, and one thing we must be quite firm, if this bird is so early, see here's the picture. Hmm, what do you think it's going to say? Hmm. Did he catch the worm? This little worm is like, ah, and he's like, don't do this to me. He's like, mm -hmm. he's like, that's what he's like. It's getting late now. I see night is falling. The museum is closing. Your mother is calling. Before you head south, home with your Sally and Dick. I have a surprise that is really quite slick. The dino is the earliest cat that is known. No one has seen it. It's never been shown. It's super terrific. It stands here before us. Oh, can you say? See? Cat in the Hatosaurus. See? <laughs> I don't think that's a real dinosaur at all. But it could be in the book, you know. Gloss. Brood, a number of young hatched all at one time. Carnivore, an animal that eats flesh. Dinosaurs, meaning terrible lizards. This is the name of a large group of reptiles that lived 210 million years ago. Many di most dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Fierce, wild, savage, savage in meaning. Foe, an enemy. Fossils, the remains of impressions of animals or plants that lived millions of years ago. Gobbled, swallow and eat in a hurry. 
herbivore, an animal that eats plants. Jab, to poke with something sharp. Labs, short for laboratories, the places where scientists conduct tests and experiments to find the answers to many questions. Muck, dirty, slimy, rotting plant and animal matter. Museum, a building where objects of interest or value are kept and shown. Muzzle, the part of an animal's head that sticks out, its jaw, mouth, and nose, pierce, to make a hole with something sharp. Zucchini, zucchini, a green variety of squash having a long shape, while the brain of a rock sort was only the size of a small zucchini. The average, the average human brain is bigger than a grapefruit. Okay, so here's the new one on the back that I promised. There is a big gap between concept books written for preschoolers and nonfiction that require fluent reading skills. The Cat in the Hat's Learning Library books introduced to beginning readers about, I mean, to introduce, introduce, um, I mean, let me just start. The Cat in the Cat's Learning Library books introduce beginning readers to important basic concepts about the world we live in. They provide critical foundations, which upon an addition, the Cat in the Hat's Learning Library shows young readers that books can be entertaining and educational at the same time. This is wonderful series. Dash, Barba Kiefer, PhD, Charlotte S. Huck, Professor of the of Children's Literature, Ohio State University. Learn to read. Read to learn. Cool. This is a pretty cool book. Bye, guys. And bye. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Can chill us up. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we show it to dad? Mm -hmm.